The gift we give of seeing people is the greatest gift we can all give anyone. We all want to be seen. And that is a beautiful gift that we all deserve to have. And in some ways, everything I'm going to be talking about today and everything I'm here to do is to help you help others be seen by you and vice versa in a much deeper, richer way. Michelangelo has a wonderful orientation to being a sculptor. He said, when we look at David, he said, I did not chisel David into the rock. I simply released him from the rock. When you walk toward it, there's a curve you take, and there's these stones, and there's a leg or an arm, and that's all there is. He says, because that's all that was in the stone. And then you see David. And it's this magnificent structure. Each of us has that in us. And each of us, the challenge with purpose is not to find a purpose. It is to reconnect with the one that has always been ours. Lead Credit Suisse's new marketing department to achieve exceptional business results. If you can be fired from it, it's not your purpose. <laughs> but many leaders will, this, they, they go right here, and you're like, okay, wait a minute. Really? How about this one? To be the driver of the infrastructure business that allows each person to achieve their needed outcomes while also mastering the new drivers of a business that advanced my family, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you can't remember, at the end, what you said at the beginning, it's not your purpose. But the challenge is, if I ask most people to write down your purpose right now, you're going to get something that looks like this, which is hopefully somewhere in there is a purpose. Continually, consistently develop and facilitate the growth and development of myself and others leading to great performance. If HR loves it, it is not your purpose. <laughs> It's got all the right words. I mean, look at it. You know, you just pick from column A and column B, put it together. You know, right? Right? It's not your purpose. Save the wins. It's not your purpose. Now, a cause, and we've seen a number of these the last couple of days, are a strategy by which you bring your purpose to. So having a cause is helpful, but not sufficient. Who you are and what makes you distinctive. Look, like I took any of you, and I took you out of your roles, and I put someone in just as good as you, really just as good as you. And I, three months later, I interviewed everybody and said, OK, what do you miss? The answer to that question is your purpose. The magic that you bring that no one else can bring is the gift that you are, is the purpose. The purpose is the how that you bring to any job. Purpose is, whether you're the janitor or the CEO, it's how you do the job. It's what you bring that no one else brings. Really, the work we're going to do today is not about finding anything. It's reconnecting. What we're trying to do is to make the neural connection stronger. You have experiences in which purpose is fully formed and amazingly present for you. The challenge is you don't have easy access. Three major sources that I've discovered is purpose. I find the magical moments in your childhood is where purpose tends to show up. There's a curious little boy and girl inside of each of us that deserves to be in the front seat of the car. But as we get into the corporate world and we grow up, at some point we put them in the trunk, sometimes for safekeeping. But the problem is we forget to take them back out. Those crucibles, mine was a crucible story I told you today that in some ways birthed me into my purpose. If all hell wasn't breaking loose, I would have not found those books and I would have not discovered the thing that I'm really here to do. Something we love doing that no matter what anybody else cares, we have to do it. And whenever we do it, it sings our soul for us. The beauty of your purpose is it will resolve the paradox that each of us is. And we will finally say, I'm home. This is who I am. Purpose is not a concept, it's not a theory, it's a visceral experience. And what is, I'm having this conversation with Julie, I want you to notice when do you think it starts to show up? Do you have a sense of what your purpose is? Well, I actually had what I thought was the thing, the okay. right purpose. And then I realized it was the purpose that an HR person would love. So tell me a story from your childhood 
that's a magical moment for you that has some connection with some of those words, but really is sort of just something that really sings to you? Uh, when I was a young girl, I loved to sing. Do you have a particular moment when you were doing that with other people around? It was her, all of our sisters, some friends singing Beatles songs. What's the part of it that really most you have the connection with? Is it the singing or is it the connection with the others? It's the connection of the others and the feeling of, of soaring and taking flight because you hear all of the harmonies coming together. Okay, so she just stepped a little bit into purpose. You notice that? You notice how she used those words? The soaring and connecting and the harmony and bringing it all together. Now she's saying that there's a little more of who she is that starts to show up. So what would you love doing as a teenager? Um, I loved running. When I was running and I realized that I wasn't very fast and was probably never going to make the track team, but I didn't care because running was so much fun anyway. And what about it, it was so enjoyable for you? Uh, probably on country roads with, you know, endless horizon, think South Dakota skies. So we're starting to get a sense of what the curious little girl is like. What's something you're passionate about these days or it's been part of your life for a while? Skydiving. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> so tell us about skydiving. The best part about skydiving is the community and the safety and space that we create for each other. So can you take us on the plane? What's it like? <sighs> okay, so first of all, you've got 20 people all sitting next to each other, all mentally rehearsing and preparing for what it is that they're going to be doing next. So they might be doing a solo skydive or they might be doing a four-way formation or an eight-way formation. But in the plane, there's one mission that everyone has a good time but comes home safe. And in individual formations, there's different adventures that they're trying to have. You know, you might be trying to turn four points or, or, or get into a formation or to do a flock. And after you get over getting, being scared to death, part of what you focus on is, can I get to my spot? Can I, can I do what I need to do for my team and be present for my team? But as you're leaving the plane, everyone together, I'll demonstrate with you, we can go like this and then like this. So everyone on the plane connects and stays together to be safe. And, and then we go out and we have our adventures and we fly. So this is what purpose looks like when it really shows up, right? I mean, this, you know, she is so in her purpose that she's doing that. That's like such a beautiful expression. We're, what we're looking for is a metaphorical reference that helps us step into the magic that we are. And so in the last year, what's your most enjoyable experience? My most enjoyable experience is seeing my young daughter uh, direct a play about an emotional topic that was the central struggle of her life and do a beautiful job of it and be so courageous and to be supportive of her there. There's the motion here now, yes? And this is about your daughter and the connection. So what, what's happening is your, what's, what's coming up? Creating safe space yeah. and letting people have their adventures. That's your purpose. That's your purpose.